So once you have changed your background and your buttons around and all the stuff that kind of persists across everything, then we go into the Pages movie clip. Now inside the Pages movie clip, this is where right now we have all of our example pages showing the ActionScript 3 examples. So on each of these, let's say we'll go to play animation. So if I go inside of this movie clip, now this holds an actions layer that just has a series of keyframes with a frame label on it that defines the page name and then an accompanying movie clip which holds the page. So inside of this movie clip, now we have a new timeline, which might as well be a new flash file. We can do anything we like inside of this page now. Um, you can see that on the first frame of the actions layer we have some simple button commands showing how to set up a button and make it play an animation across the timeline. So each of these pages has similar examples. So we go over to the, let's see, go over to the video one. You can go in here, uh, see all these different layers. We're using a video component here and there's a little more action script for the video, but uh, there's a few comments explaining what different things do, function to make the video loop when it finishes and things like that, but so they're all just nice samples. But what the framework does is it automatically reads these different frame labels and it will create pages to use the paging buttons through. So setting up your own project, what you would do after you were in the main timeline and again replaced the loading screen, the pause screen, of course decided what size you want to use with the resolution gates there, um, the header, skinned your buttons the way you'd like to use them, um, any backgrounds. Once you have all of those global elements in place, now you can start working on your individual pages.